today I'm going to be tying up um, these little midges here. It's going to be hard for me to get this in focus here. But uh, right here. These uh, have little hot spots on them. The ones I'm tying today are going to have pink hot spots like the one on the far left here. Or I guess maybe you're right. Um, and uh, I'm using uh, pink flashaboo for it. And these were what were working when I went out on the river last time. These tiny little midges. They're size, I think, uh, 28. And that was what was working. So I got to tie up a couple of those. I've only got a few left. I lost, as you saw in that video, <laughs> quite a few fish. Um, so, my least favorite thing in the world is tying midges, I'll be honest. It's not my favorite. And I've got you on a different view here. And I'm talking to the camera because I can't put you behind me. Because i got to get in real close with my eyes. Like this. And be able to look. And I would be blocking the camera. So... So we are going to need two threads. Both of these are 70 denier. One is white, the other one is brown. And we're also going to use a bit of just one single strand of pink flash boo. And that's it. It's pretty simple actually. It's just real tough to tie these really small flies with my eyes. Maybe some of you younger people have better eyes, but I wear glasses and I have trouble. So we're going to start our thread just behind the eye. You can see right here I left a little gap. You'll see why in just a minute. Now we're going to just build a, a taper on this fly. I'm going to spin this bobbin just a little bit to flare out the fibers of the of the line here and that's just gonna make this a nice smoother flatter wrap there we go I got a nice little bug t body taper okay then we're just gonna attach our flashaboo here Two loose wraps, we can pull it in like so. Two tight wraps forward, put it on our material clip here, get it out of the way. Now we're going to attach on our brown thread. So, what I do just makes it a little easier, give myself a little room with it, a little extra, and I stick the the thread of the bobbin just on my vise here and that allows me to just bring the thread right down and in. It's kind of tough because the thread is so fine and limp it's hard to get it on there. You gotta kinda pinch do like a pinch uh, thing here to get it on and then there we go you really want to watch your thread wraps. I only did two with that. Um, well, four total. Two going forward and reversed it and went back with two. You don't want to build a lot of bulk on the head here. You can see just a three turn whip finish. Okay.
Try to cut that off as close as you can. All right, so then we're gonna bring our brown thread. You use black with this, that works really well too. Um, the only dark color I had was brown though. All right, and then once we do a few wraps with the brown, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a little hot spot with this pink. Do a couple wraps. Capture it with your brown thread. One more turn. There we go. Snip that off. Now I'm going to flatten out this uh, thread here. Give myself some nice, really smooth wraps over that hot spot. I want to cover it up. I don't know what's going on with my white thread here. Alright, so we did three turns with the whip finish. Again, we're going to cut this off real fine. And you can see here my white thread is fraying. I'm not sure why. Might have to replace that. Look at buying some new thread. I'm going to try to clean that up as best as possible before I put some varnish on here. And really guys, I'm no expert at tying these midges. I know that. You guys might know what I'm doing wrong here, but hey, I need these for tying for fishing on the river. And I hate buying them. I really do. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this varnish on here. I'll keep everything together and close. It also kind of highlights that hot spot a little bit more. At least I noticed it does. Kind of makes it shine. Well, a little bit like that will be fine, I guess. In fact, might even look like legs. Fish probably won't even care. Maybe they will. We'll see. Well, there you go. So there's that one. Let's see if I can adjust this a little better. There we go. Boy, I hate working with these tiny little... And that is the fly that was working on the river just the other day. I plan on going out again soon and trying my hand again, hopefully not lose as many fish this time. Boy, I was, uh, you know, first time filming, guys. It was the first time filming while fishing, and all I was doing was paying attention to filming. Not trying to make excuses. I also know I'm not necessarily the best fisherman in the world, but I try, right? So, hey, we all make mistakes, but uh, this, uh, hopefully, hopefully now, um, you know, I can actually pay attention to fishing rather than pay attention to filming. I've kind of got the filming down, just did it once, and should be good. So, uh, I'm going to be tying up quite a few of these. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you my fly box for going out on the San Juan. So uh, 
pretty much mostly midges and then San Juan worms. I got these really tiny fine little San Juan worms. Those work pretty well. Um, these uh, work really well also. But that's what I just was tying up. This is what tends to work the best on the river. Fine tiny little midges, even some uh, even some like zebra midges, like those right, right there. But these right here are what was working like crazy on the river. And black beauties there, and you'd tie a couple extra of those up. And then the dry fly that I lost that fish on on the first at that video was right there. It was these little tiny parachute atoms. I mean, they're their size. I think 28, maybe 26. These might be 26. I know. Those down there are 28, and that one too. But uh, yeah, so and then those work really well too for dry flies. Forgot what they're called, but um, tiny little midge flies. And that's that's pretty much it. That's what I use mainly on the San Juan. Doesn't necessarily mean that this is the way to go always, but I got to tie up quite a few more of these because these are my go-to for nymphing, and I lose a lot of them. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Go catch some fish.